All right, everybody, so it is uh, Tuesday morning, and I just want to record this real quick. This is my Bellari rainbow fish, and he is colored up and showing off. Uh, so I'm assuming there are definitely rainbows that like to spawn in the morning, because I normally don't see him color up this vibrantly. And he's starting to tone it down, actually. Um, he was a lot more colorful, but generally he only has that little bit of orange in his tail. And the rest of him silver, whereas right now he's got a lot of green on him. Beautiful orange stripe that is just flashing right now on his forehead. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Come here. So I just wanted to basically capture this because these fish generally don't look as good as he does now. And uh, I, I've never seen a Google picture that does this fish justice which he's about to start coloring up because he's got his girl right there and uh, he gets to swimming around her and that's yeah wait let's uh, I, I've got to stand up so you can get that orange stripe on his head and that's just like flashing you can see it real time just changing colors Oh my god, you can see that there, I tell you. That is so beautiful. It's just pulsing. Oh man. To think, if you could go into Gary Lang's room, fish room, and just see his rainbows do this. Oh my god. So beautiful. But uh, anyways, I guess we can go over the tank real quick for those of you who are unfamiliar with it. This is my 55 gallon rainbow tank and it is in no way the forever tank. Wow, hold on. Look at him right now. Oh my God. He is just so bright. Like his colors are just, wow. He is really, really like just glowing. I've never seen him like this, but I generally don't look at him in the morning, so. it's really like afternoon but morning for me oh my gosh it's just amazing but anyways uh, this is my 55 gallon rainbow tank um, in it I just have a mix of rainbows some Parkinson eyes some uh, dwarf neon praycocks the two beller eyes <laughs> oh my goodness and uh, yeah this is in no way a forever tank for them um, most of them are probably going to make it to the 125 in like the long run. I'm not sure to be honest where, but I mean, I've got a 100 there, which is five foot. Um, I'd really like to get another 125 and stack it onto that or under that one. So, um, but yeah, this is the rainbow tank for now. Uh, other inhabitants, other than rainbows, we have some pandacories. So pandacories actually like cooler temps. So. Uh, come winter time when these guys are getting like cold cold water changes um, like 25% water change with 60 you know 60 degree water in a 75 degree tank those quarries will actually love it and the rainbow fish will love it as well so hopefully I get a lot of spawning from both of them when I do that and it makes everybody happy and look as beautiful as this guy um, other than that, you know, kind of some parsley plant, partially planted tank, and this is parsley planted, parsley planted. Har oh my God, parsley, parsley planted, right? That's jeez, okay. That is not that is a tongue tongue twister. I won't say that one anymore. Jeez, um, but yeah, look at him. I mean, yeah, he never has that much color. He's just so so gorgeous. Uh, those little neons aren't looking bad either, um, and they're full grown now. But finally, waiting for the still still waiting for the the um, oh my goodness, 
uh, the Parkinsonis to grow out. But those those little neons grow fast. Those are like what six eight months old, and they're basically full grown, something like that. So those are really fast growing fish. But um, yeah, I also have mysteries in here, and then the plants are Hygrophilia gustafolia, Hygrophilia compacta, Phogostemis salatus. Uh, a little bit of mixed Christmas moss, some bulbitis, which I'm super excited, hoping that gets big and just hides to start growing, and a little bit of Rotala. I think that's Rotala, Colorado. But uh, yeah, the tank's doing good. Oh, and then lighting is 265 KT8s, and then this little really, really cheap eBay LED, which I have fallen absolutely in love with. The sellers are pretty terrible. But the light for $25, I mean, that's that's a pretty darn good light there. Um, though I don't know if it's enough to give, like, it's a great low light. But medium light, it uh, kind of needs a little bit of extra, so I threw that on. But uh, anyways, I think this video is long enough. We've all gotten to see the very, very beautiful rainbow fish. And I did try and live stream this, but it, eh, my phone wouldn't live, uh, live stream for me, so... Uh, we did it this way, but anyways, uh, I do plan to have more live streams on my channel. It's kind of just impromptu streams where I see something or feel like, you know, talking with you guys and I just go live for the fun of it. I think that might have just fell, which is not good. But uh, this is another tank I'll be working on soon, getting this ready for the Fajaca now. As you can see, it's going to be a lot of plants on the back there. Um, I went over this in one of my last streams. There's a little cup holder I got from Walmart. I bought, they, they came in a pack of five for about $2. So, and they just work perfect because you can hang little, you know, plants on the back there. So, uh, I really, really like those. Um, I plan to get a lot more, and this is also going to be aquaponics here. Uh, and then pre filtered by a canister, and then after the canister, it runs through aquaponics or drains out. So, that's going to be coming soon right now. It's just housing my uh, horde of mystery snails. Um, so, um, yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. And you would like to see more videos like this and some of my other actually edited videos. Um, yeah, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.